Hello, sports fans, and welcome to the Scott Sports 101 uh, Monday Night Football Week 14 Update Show and uh, NFL Football Week 14 Recap Show. As we're going to talk Browns, and we're going to go over the Monday Night Game. Uh, but first, uh, here is today's Scott Sports 101 Monday Night Football Week 14 Trivia Question. After having a road record in 2001, uh, an 8-0 road record in 2001, after... Uh, the Rams had a dismal uh, 1-7 record in 2002. Who was the only team that the Rams beat on the road in 2002? I will have that answer later on the podcast. Well, uh, it's uh, Monday Night Football Week 14. Are you ready for some football? Uh, right now... It is uh, halftime. As you know, it's in the third quarter with 13.36 to go. And the Rams just scored its 19 uh, to 13 Rams, which the LA Rams and the Arizona Cardinals are battling it out right now at University of Phoenix Stadium in Glendale, Arizona. And uh, right now, they were tied at halftime at 13.13, but now it's not 20 to 13 uh, Rams. Excuse me. Uh, the... Uh, the L.A. Rams are coming off a uh, 37-7 win uh, over the Jacksonville Jaguars last week. Uh, and that was at uh, uh, SoFi uh, Stadium in uh, Inglewood, California. And uh, the Rams really just whopped them. And right now it's low scoring, but they're up on the Arizona. But Arizona's not going to go away quietly. Uh, the Rams are coming off a 33-22 win over the Bears at Soldier Field last week. Uh, and this could that game would have could have gone either way, but it was one heck of a game. And uh, but the Rams came out on top. Uh, and uh, Matt Gay's extra point was good. It's and it's twenty to thirteen. I'm gonna go over the first half right now. We're gonna uh, first quarter. The uh, Cardinals kicked a field goal, and it was and uh, Prater's fifty yard fifty three yard field goal was good, and it was. Uh, three to nothing, and then the and that was the uh, first quarter. Uh, and uh, Arizona had the punt after going three and out, and then uh, Arizona had an interception, and that was at uh, 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 Connor right tackle to Arizona. Uh, Uh, it was a uh, Kyler Murray uh, fumbled, uh, aborted, uh, recovered by uh, Arizona Kirk, and uh, then it was a penalty. Five hundred force in L.A. Uh, at the L.A. thirty, and nobody was a penalty. Uh, and it was Kyler Murray's pass short, intended uh, to uh, Ertz for it was intercepted by uh, Jones at the L.A. Uh, one, L.A. Rams one, and uh, and that's when. Uh, the uh, Rams got the ball back, but then they had the point to going, th- and then they scored a touchdown, and that was in uh, quarter uh, number two. Matt Stafford's pass short left to uh, Odell Beckham for the uh, two-yard touchdown, by, and Matt Gay's extra points go up to seven to three. And then Matt Gay, they tried to get in the end zone, but couldn't do it, and Matt Gay's 55-yard field goal attempt was good. It was 10 to three. Uh... And then Arizona scored their uh, first touchdown of the game. Connor up the middle for a one-yard touchdown. Uh, Pratter's uh, extra point is good. It's 10-10. And Arizona tried to get into the uh, end zone to get a field goal, but they couldn't do it. They got to the uh, uh, 53-yard line of the uh, 35-yard line. Excuse me. Matt Gay kicked a 35-yard field goal attempt. It was good, and it was 13-10. Uh, to uh, 10. And then... Arizona tried to get into the end zone, but they couldn't. They got to the uh, uh, 53-yard line. They kicked a 53-yard field goal. And uh, Prater's 53-yard field goal was good, and it was 13-13 tied at halftime. And now in the third quarter, Matt Stafford's pass deep middle to uh, uh, Vince Jefferson for the 52-yard touchdown. And Matt Gay's extra points good. It's now 20 
uh, to 13, and that's where we stand. And uh, Arizona, if Arizona can win this one, they'll secure a playoff spot. So uh, we will see what happens in this one. So and so uh, now we're going to talk about the Browns. We're uh, we're going to talk a little bit of Browns, and uh, we're going to go over all of the other scores uh, from uh, Week 14. And so this was one of those weeks where and the Browns got a must win. And it was a, it was a frantic uh, su Sunday afternoon at First Energy Stadium. Uh, and the Browns got a must needed win over the Baltimore Ravens 24 to 22. Uh, and uh, Miles Garrett wasn't going to let this season escape. Uh, his graph or get away from the <coughs> oh, excuse me um, he wasn't gonna let this season escape or get away or get away from from, uh, uh, from the Browns by far and uh, and uh, this he wasn't gonna let this this Miles Garrett wasn't gonna let this season uh, escape or his grasp, escape his grasp, or get away from the Browns. Displeased with an overall lack of focus during practice last week, Cleveland started defensive and spoke up and challenged his teammates, urging them to do more, pushing them, pushing them to be better. Garrett backed up his words. Uh, he scored his first TD, and Baker Mayfield threw two touchdown passes as the Browns stayed in thick of the AFC playoff race, surviving Baltimore's Late comeback at 24-22 win on Sunday over the Baltimore Ravens, who lost superstar quarterback Lamar Jackson with a sprained right ankle. So it'll be a question for next week. Garrett stripped sack. Ravens back up uh, quarterback Tyler Huntley scooped up the fumble and uh, rambled 15 yards for a touchdown in the first half. And the Browns were up 24-3 at halftime and held, and, and held off the injury-riddled Ravens. Browns are seven and six. Ravens fall to eight and five. Uh, following Friday's uh, practice, Garrett made some funny comments toward his teammates that some uh, interpreted as trouble inside Cleveland's locker room. Instead, it seemed to be a message of inspiration. That's the type of player Miles is, said uh, cornerback Denzel Ward, who made a tackle to stop Baltimore's final drive. He is a leader for our team, and that's what we've got to do. He challenged everybody, even though. He challenged us. He's going to come in and back it up, uh, though, as well. He's going to go out there, make plays, uh, and make go out there and make plays. We needed it, and we did. Garrett didn't worry about any negative feedback about his remarks. His teammates knew they were all uh, uh, intention. I've got to stand there for what I for what I want out of this team. And what we want to achieve, and if I have a vision, I want everybody to be a part of it, and I'm going to lead it, he said. Healthier than he's ever been in weeks following Cleveland's bye, Mayfield connected with Jarvis Landry, Austin Hooper on uh, first half scores. Uh, as the Browns avoided fading out of the playoff picture, of course, it helped that Jackson went down on the first play of the second quarter and did not return. Uh, the uh, 2019 MVP was unable to put any weight on that ankle, a frightening and concerning sight for the AFC North leading Ravens who have been overrun by injuries this season. Uh, Coach John Harbaugh said Jackson will undergo further examination on Monday when Lamar went down and started becoming more aware of the situation, said Huntley, who started for an ill Jackson on November 21st at Chicago. I knew that at that moment I had to lock in. And after that fumble, I was very locked in. And because I couldn't make any more mistakes, Huntley spent uh, much of the second half scrambling from trouble. But he kept uh, Baltimore close. As, and the Ravens, who trailed 24-6 at halftime, pulled within 2-24-22. to 22. Uh, And there was an 8-yard TD pass to Mark Andrews with 117 to go. And the Browns were able to stop Baltimore's final play. Uh, with uh, 
and they were able to really uh, and uh, Javon Clowney had a very had a key late sack and he was trying to tip uh, tip it to myself and I saw him come up there and get it and I was like you've got the whole uh, trip it's a, the sack the fumble recovery the touchdown and so and moments after the, his TD Garrett was shown on the Giants scoreboard the star shocked shocked his head shook his head excuse me that I'm not done he had a record breaking day Miles Garrett and uh, and uh, this was uh, neither a good the good one week uh, bad the next for Browns who whose postseason chances would have been badly damaged with a loss so uh, this was a uh, and this was a must win and they got Garrett broke the club sacks record uh, he came in sharing with Reggie Camp 14 in 1984. The Browns have players with higher numbers, but the league didn't count sacks as an individual as an individual statistic until uh, uh, 1982. And well, and this was just uh, the Ravens pulled within two, and it was uh, and it could this could have gone either way, but the Browns get the win, and it was not pretty, but they got it. A must win. Now they've got the LA Raiders coming up. Uh, into town uh, this Saturday. So we'll see. And this is another must win for the Browns. So. And I'm going to give out the game balls to the Browns right now. Baker Mayfield, uh, 22 of 32 carries and attempts, 190 yards. Uh, two touchdowns, one interception. Nick Chubb, 17 attempts, 59 yards, uh, did not score a touchdown. And Donovan Peoples-Jones, five receptions and 90 yards. So uh, now we're going to go over all the scores uh, from uh, Week 14. You already know, also know that the uh, Minnesota Vikings uh, beat the Pittsburgh Steelers last Thursday night, 36 to 28 at U.S. Bank Stadium, and. Uh, uh, Minneapolis, Minnesota. The uh, Atlanta Falcons beat the Carolina Panthers 29-21 at Bank of America Stadium in, uh, uh, in Charlotte, North Carolina. And uh, I got to give the game ball to Matt Ryan. The Seattle Seahawks beat the Houston Texans at NRG Stadium in Houston, Texas, 33-13. And this is basically a one-sided game. Yeah, Seattle just uh, took over. Just did never let up in this one. I give it to Russell Wilson and DK Metcalf, the game balls, and uh, Chris Carson as well. The uh, the uh, Las Vegas Raiders, who the Browns will play this Saturday, were manhandled by the Kansas City Chiefs, 48 to nine, at Arrowhead Stadium in uh, Kansas City, Missouri. I give it to uh, I gotta give game balls Patrick Mahomes the third, Clyde edwards hilaire and Tyreek Hill. You already know the Browns won 24-22 at First Energy Stadium. The uh, Dallas Cowboys beat the uh, Washington football team at FedEx Field in Washington, 20 to 27 to 20. And uh, Washington had a chance to have one final play, and they just could not do it. So, And so I got to give it to uh, the game ball to Dave Prescott, Ezekiel Elliott, and uh, CeeDee Lamb. The Tennessee Titans just shut out the Jacksonville Jaguars. 20 to nothing at Nissan Stadium in Nashville. And uh, Ryan Tannehill gets the game ball for that one. The Broncos manhandled the, te- the Detroit Lions 38 to 10. I give the game ball to Teddy Bridgewater. The LA Chargers uh, beat the New York Giants 37 to 21. I give it to Justin Herbert, the game ball at SoFi Stadium in Inglewood, California. The uh, Cincinnati Bengals. Lost to the San Francisco 49ers, and they fall to 7-6. and six. The uh, Bengals and Paul Brown Stadium in Cincinnati, and Jimmy Garoppolo gets the game ball for that one. The Tampa Bay Buccaneers, uh, Brady and the Bucks beat the Buffalo Bills 33-27. And Tom Brady and uh, Leonard Ferrante get the game balls. The New Orleans Saints beat the New, Orleans, beat the New York Jets at MetLife Stadium, and... Uh, uh, 
East Philadelphia from New Jersey, 30-9. And last night, Sunday Night Football, the Green Bay Packers beat the beat the Bears at legendary Lambeau Field in Green Bay, Wisconsin. I'll be back with the Scott Sports 101 Monday Night Football post-game show. Once the game between the Rams and Cardinals has concluded. 3-2-1. I'm done.